Hey, thank you for visiting the website. I'm the Scorpion. This is Mikkel. And we are going to do a video about bad tipping. I had a subscriber, FluffyJD12, write me a letter about how people don't tip properly because they think they get regular checks when they don't. I know that in Pennsylvania, waiters only get $2.13 an hour, and that's not enough to support anybody. So, um... I think that people should tip. Now, Mikkel, when you're at the restaurant and your bill is like $40, how much do you tip? I don't think so. How much tip anybody? $10. You don't want to tip $10? Me by myself? No, I'm just saying. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, $10 if it's a group of us. But me by myself, I wouldn't buy $40 worth of food in the first place. <laughs> But yeah, if it's if it's more than if it's a couple of us, hell yeah, that tip better be uh ten dollars at least. But if I'm by myself and it's like a regular size tip, I'm gonna tip at least like two or three dollars. Wow, I would tip like five. Even if my fill number is like ten dollars, I would tip like five dollars. But the question, the question was, Mikkel, what would you tip? Oh well, well I'm just saying, oh, I think okay. that you're wrong for. Well, no, you well, don't think uh, that I'm wrong because you may not know what I have in my pockets. Well, I mean, everybody always say, well, you know. You shouldn't, you shouldn't eat. You know what I mean? No. If you tip somebody, if you tip somebody three dollars, that's not saying you can't. Three dollars. That waiter is more appreciative if you give him three dollars than if you give him nothing. So I think three dollars. If I have three dollars in my pocket to give you, I'm going to give it to you. I ain't just going to say, "Oh, I got three dollars, and this ain't enough," so I can tip you. No. If I got three dollars, I'm going to give it to you. I mean, if I have five dollars, fine, I'll give you five. But I mean, come on. I'm not going to make a big deal out of how much I'm going to tip somebody. If I tip you, I tip you. But I ain't going to walk away not tipping you. Okay, because I mean, I, I spent like... Some people do things differently. You may tip five. If I give them three, that's fine as long as I tip them. Now, yesterday, I should have tipped like seven. And trust me, can I just say this? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I'm sure if you ask a waiter, I'm sure they probably want more than five dollars. So... I mean, but they should be glad if I'm spending ten dollars. That's right. So if I'm giving no. you three dollars, you should be glad. My point exactly. My no, point exactly. No, no, there is no no. Because I'm sure if you ask a waiter, well, how much would you like me to give you? Well... You can give me all you want. You, if you could give me ten dollars, I'm sure I will. I will want that. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I've never had nobody say no. I don't want a tip. No, that's what not makes what I'm me saying. mad is when people leave like one dollar for a tip. Who the hell are you to do that? And you know that they gotta work hard. First of all, they gotta put up with shitty ass attitudes all day. And when they get to your table. And they still nice to you and everything. I think that you should tip them more. I don't care what type of recession we going through. If you want to eat at a restaurant, then damn it, you make sure you tip them. That's what I think. You know what I mean? What you, I know you ain't just your hands. Yes, I did. And you look like one of them cheap tippers. You probably leave a quarter on the damn table. No, I ain't drunk. You probably will leave a quarter on the table. Shame on you if you don't tip. Yeah. I just think it's trashy not to tip them, and that y'all should tip. You know what? Maybe one day we should go and ask, maybe when I get my little camera, ask waiters about how do they feel when people leave bad tips. Because it's, it's really bad these times. But what's a bad tip? Okay, if the meal is like $50 and you tip like 5 that's bad. Okay, well... We're, I'm talking about one person because ain't nobody going to no restaurant buying fifty dollars. No, okay. I think that I'm it should be. I think it should be a limp five dollars. You should give them five dollars. Okay. Well, let me just explain something to you. You should definitely give a person a tip, and I'm not cheap at all. Not cheap at all. My friends know. I go to the restaurant and I pay for me and somebody else. I'm not cheap at all. But some people can go somewhere with five dollars and get a whole meal. So some people say. So some people may think. Well, if I can buy a whole meal for five dollars, then why would I give somebody five dollars when I can buy a whole meal for five dollars? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you know one thing also I want to say. Cause no, let me just say this. Cause giving somebody five dollars to some people, not to me and not to you, but giving some five dollars to some other people may think, well, wait a minute, I'm just paying for a whole nother meal. <laughs> Come on, that's how people think. Not everybody in the world thinks like me and you. Some people may think giving them five dollars is giving them a whole nother meal. When you go to the Chinese store and buy a whole milk, five dollars. Now, Fluffy, I want you to know one thing, though. You also have to remember, what type of waiter are you? Because yeah. sometimes you might not even be doing your job. Let me tell you something. One waiter that I had at Fridays one day, okay. I asked him three times for mayonnaise, extra mayonnaise, and he going to look at me the second time. Wait, no, the third time, I think I was crazy. I said, excuse me, I asked you twice already, can I get some more mayonnaise? Okay. You want mayonnaise? 
What did you think I was you asking mean, for you the first three times? Ass, first of all. I ain't gonna tell you what I left. Oh my god. I ain't gonna I tell you what I left. Oh, one time we <laughs> left and I walked out, walked out okay? on the <laughs> and at a New York airport. <laughs> me and my sister left on my goddamn thing. First of all, you rude as hell. Especially dealing with my sister. She ain't gonna I shouldn't have nothing. Wait a minute. It's okay. All right, fine. If I ask you a second time, fine. Okay, you make because you're waiting on other tables. That is acceptable. The third time, I'm getting aggravated. I have to extra third. But then when you come to me and then you look at me like I got three heads on my shoulder, some some what? Man, is you want? What the fuck did you think I was asking for? I wasn't asking for a damn tip. I was asking for man days because I'm sure that's what you gonna be asked by the mm -hmm. But you got another thing coming, brother. So I mean, hey, I got your tip. It's people. I understand that you deal with attitudes all day. But you gotta brush that shit off. It comes somebody through, might yeah. leave you a twenty dollar tip, a hundred dollar tip. Mm -hmm. You know you what never I mean? Know. You never I ain't leaving know. nobody a hundred dollar tip unless I want some. Well, look, and I don't can, mean I want mean, some food. Mm. <laughs> I've never tipped extra because I was attracted to. I've never. I was never. My pockets is not. A, you know. It seemed like no, but let me say something. Like all the people I was attracted to didn't wait on my table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always got stuck with the ones that she be like, "Oh, that one right there, cute." Then you come, then the one come over to you and be like, oh, uh, "Give me a hamburger." Damn, that's <laughs> rude. <laughs> no. It was this one girl. She was just nice, I, and, and you know, she was such a good waiter. I didn't forget her. Her name was like, um, "Oh, you didn't forget her." I didn't forget who she was. Oh, but you can't remember her name. It was like Star Starshima, Star Starsha, or something like that. It began with a star, and she was telling us how. And it ends with a dust, stardust. <laughs> ah, girl, fly girl. She was telling us how she wanted to be on top of like the media industry, like she wanted her own show and everything. So I said, "Oh, you want to be the next Oprah?" She said, "No, I want to be the <laughs> next, next star That's right. That's I'm like, right. "Oh God, that's right." That's what I tell people too. And she was just so nice. She had a nice personality. She was at the um, Olive Garden. I don't know. She might watch the show. She's at the Olive Wait, Garden at Broad and Chestnut. Yep. And this was um, us, like when me and my friends. I miss y'all so much. My old coworkers. We used to go out and eat once a month. At different restaurants, so yeah, I, I'll never forget her. But well, what other restaurants did you eat at besides Olive Garden? Because it sounds like you always talk about. I've Olive been Garden. to the Hibachi Grill. I've been to Ruby Tuesdays. I've been to Applebee's. All right, you're making me hungry. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I've been to Wendy's, Maggiano's, McDonald's, any restaurant. You know, I'm well, there. Uh, well, we can all tell he ain't missed a couple meals. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That big. Everybody, I probably never got up. She was the same. You know what she said? That's horrible. People be like, oh my God, Scorpion, you're so fat. The, especially the fat when they sit next to the cow. <laughs> Fuck your haters. And I can curse because this is my website. Fuck your haters. Who's calling? We should surprise answer, them and yeah. answer. Answer. Hello? Is this on um, Mikkel? It's, it's the Scorpion, but Mikkel is right here. Oh, you don't want to speak to Mikkel? No, I'll speak to you. Oh, okay. What's going on? Hold on. I'll watch his video. I didn't see him watching me yet, but he said the way we're wrong. He, I don't know. I, I should watch the whole game, but it's like it's mad long. That's why I just want to. Well, let me bring this closer. What happened? I said, I didn't see him watching the whole video yet, but I don't know whether y'all get it correctly. Y'all don't think that. Carrie Hilson, this Beyonce, but she did when she said she needed to move it to the left. I don't know whether y'all heard that, because when he read the lyrics, he didn't say that part. Oh, my God. You Hello? Hello? You call us about Carrie Hilson? You call us about that? Yeah, I don't know. I just watched No, that. hold on. I, listen, we did that video how many weeks ago? Like last week. Like last week. Yeah, I heard I heard when she said the move it to the left part, but I didn't think that was a big oh. deal to mention that. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, because she's talking about Beyonce. But we already, but yeah, I already know, know that. that. I know, right? All right. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Oh, girl, girl, you know what I'm about to say? Bye, what? girl, fly. bye, girl, fly, girl. No, you did not call for that. Yeah, I did. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did not. <laughs> no, she did not. <laughs> oh, be calling us, cursing us out about videos from last week. Wait, this she gonna say? Wait, this she gonna say? I just want y'all to know that she's talking about Beyonce. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, girl, girl, where do you live at with that nine seven three? That has to be Jersey. She's from Jersey. She, 
Oh, girl, 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 you lucky this is going on the website page and not YouTube. Well, I might put it on YouTube. Yeah, please you never do. Know. Please do to get her out of here. Hopefully she see this one. And say, she'll probably call back and say, well, wait, I didn't say that, but I said what. <laughs> so, please, um, you can't write and comment on this because it's this um, website, but please check out the other videos and stuff. I mean, the other comments. Like, no, she did stuff. not. I'm not media take out the YBF and all the other sites, but hopefully this website will get up there with them. You never know. Not, not with media take out. Well, well, I mean, hey, people go there. Like even people don't, even though they say they don't like media take out, they ask me right on them websites. Yeah, no, yeah, they be on the website, but media take out just. I don't want to be like It disrespects takeout. artists. And I, I want to be tasteful with my stuff. We need to have a positive. Website for African American entertainers or Why not minorities. Everybody. Yeah. But, okay. But let me say something. I don't have a problem with having one about everybody, but the majority of people we talk about are minorities. So let's keep it real. And then on top of that, no, let's keep it real. And then on top of that, there are none. There are no positive African American websites. They all talk about. Like, how can you talk about these people when? When there's no, you know, how can you do, media takeout should be ashamed for themselves. They should be ashamed for themselves. But they're not. Alright, YouTube, we gotta go.